hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to share a rainy day special recipe with you this is my rainy day specialty so delicious and it's so simple to make i call it the rainy day nigerian concussion rice so if you're interested come with me and let's get started so the first thing i want to do is to place my pot on the heat then go in with some vegetable oil once the oil is hot i added some garlic and ginger paste stir fry for a few seconds and allow the ginger and garlic to infuse into the oil then now i went in with some chopped onions stir fry for two minutes and now i will go in with some curry and thyme for flavor you want to stir fry this for one more minute because you want the the curry and thyme to infuse into the oil and into the onion and here i have some chopped tomatoes and red bell pepper then i will add it and also add some chopped scotch bonnet peppers and i will give this a quick mix add some salt and now mix until it's well combined Once it's nicely combined, I want to cover this and allow it to cook for 3 minutes. So after 3 minutes, this is it guys. And I just want to give it a quick mix. Then I'm going to go in with some ground crayfish. Make sure you roughly blend the crayfish. Do not over smooth it. Then I also went with some seasoning powder. And now I want to stir fry this for one minute. You want that crayfish to infuse into the sauce. Guys, crayfish is the main ingredient for this recipe. You can use crayfish without using meat or fish. Guys, you will be perfectly fine. All right, so here I have some the bone dry fish. I have stock fish and also a little bit of dried or smoked goat's meat so i just added it and now i will mix nicely mix this to combine then cover and allow it to cook for another three minutes so you want that sauce and the the fish to just you know get into each other and now after three minutes i will go in with some washed rice and now just mix and fry this for about two minutes you just want that ingredient or the ingredient you added in there to infuse into the rice and now i added water salt mix nicely and we're just going to cover this and allow it to cook so i'm going to cook until the rice is tender and the water completely dry and allow the pot to burn to infuse that smoky aroma into the jollof rice guys that's what makes this rainy day jollof rice is so authentic so delicious and the aroma guys is so yummy the aroma from the crayfish the stock fish the dry fish is super super delicious so you can set this in a native pot or just put the whole pot of the rice down and enjoy this is best served while it's still very very hot enjoy it while it's very very hot all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this recipe Please don't forget to like, share and also leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video.